both teams are looking to just have a great night. Well, as Jory said, play like hell. That's what he wants to see his team do here. Really nice crowd inside the Shield Center. We're glad you're joining us statewide on ABC. And away we go on this Thursday night with the Gophers in their traditional maroon jerseys, the Bison in the white. Isabel Gradwell with the ball for the Gophers. Picks up her dribble. And I think this just for Michael Caton. Just in the early going, similar style of basketball that we saw uh, played by the, the Bison earlier this week. First rebound of the game goes to India Shoe as Taylor Brown feeds L. Evans. She steps out of bounds in an early turnover. The ball will go back over here to the Gophers. A good read on the overplay by the defense and a nice back cut and catch and unfortunately just a step on the line. Katie Barovich rose to stardom and is an eighth grader for Rozo in 2017 and leading the Rams to a state championship as a huge contingent of fans here tonight. Well, I think she, that name Barovich is, is uh, consistent with basketball. Abby Schulte from Maple Grove, Minnesota. Inbounds to Brown from Lakeville who lays it in. The elite program that produced one page Beckers. That one off the mark there from Hamling and the rebound. Higher picks that up. Little step through, Euro step there. Mishaw with a jump shot it is good. Watertown, Minnesota. Makes it a 6 4 lead. It's, there's the steal by Barovich. Barovich in for the lay in for two. Her first of the night. 3.50 to go. 8 4, Minnesota. Battle drive short, but Oberg is there to clean it up. And a timeout from Jory Collins. Oberg comes back in along with Angelina Hammond, number 15. The other stud recruit is Nia Holloway, who. Tore her ACL in summer workouts as Schulte will go off the glass for a much needed on Minnesota here in this first quarter. On the inbounding. Evans with it. Trying to work off a banky screen. Schulte will feed it. Emily Banky spins. Nice move there as well. Only a 23 and a half percent or else this game could have got out of hand early. Yeah, a combination. You know, I didn't feel like the Bison are taking bad shots. They just seemed a little tight and uh, a little bit off and then the turnovers hurt. So they really are lucky to get away with just uh, down four and maybe can regroup here this next quarter. Brown gives it to Evans. Down to 10 on the shot clock. Minnesota is just right in India Shoe's face. Evans picked up her dribble. She's in trouble now. Down to three. Brown's going to have to put it up. Got it! Right there, Dom. <laughs> That's a long two. <laughs> it was almost like a shot put. She had it, to it went into the basket. that one up and over. Rebel drives to the basket and scores and answers right back. Every time someone takes a shot and get the rebound. Evans for three. Can't connect there. Rebound to Caton. Brings it up to Gradwell. Inside. Mallory Hare collects and scores. 16 to 10. Evans will try another three from that same spot. Can't connect. Higher with the rebound. Buys an 0 for 6 from three point range. Barovich behind the back. The step through and the finish. Largest lead of the game now at 8. Hamling can't get the roll. Brown fights for the rebound and scores. Nice defense there. Banky bats it out, but higher collects and scores. Hamling on the inbound. Finds Evans. Trying to work off a Banky screen. Good luck there on the back door to Banky for the lay-in. So they're going to have to be smart the rest of this half. Well, we talked about this in the last game, and, and that's going to be key as the season moves along. Who can come in and, and help in that point guard position? Uh, and when there is that, I never like to play a player with more than two and a half, mm -hmm. but sometimes that's just not a luxury you have. Look at Mishaw fight underneath. Finds higher. Spin down low, short. And Hildebrandt the rebound. Both teams getting shots off right underneath, but neither one able to get them to go. Abby Graham will glide and score. Confidence builder for Abby. She hasn't had offense come real easily, and I think just to be able to get in smoothly and finish that is going to help her. Good defense. Brown trying to knock it away. Mishaw comes up with it. Pass. Sonano cutting and scoring. 
Sedano has six. And the lead is seven as we click under four minutes to go in the first half. Boravic set to come back in after a quick breather. Hildebrandt lost the handle. Squirts over to hear the Schulte. Graham, she'll take the three. Got it! Serious spinal skull surgery as Graham can't connect there. Loose ball rebound is picked up by Amaya Battle. She wants to push it. Goes right to the 10 and scores. Kicks it over. Sonano will take the three. Too strong there. And Evans with a rebound. And we keep talking about the Gopher freshmen. The Bison freshmen are going to have to stem the tide here with Evans and Graham with Hamling out. Schulte will drive to the basket and score. And get it back from Hammond. She'll take it off a screen there in the corner. Short with that. And the rebound comes to Brunt. She definitely has the green light. Doesn't matter where she is on the floor. Lindsay Whalen has no problem with her jacking up the shots. I think she's proven that nice she, uh, she can finish. Nice pass. Nice finish. To the final 20 seconds of the first half. Bison trail by eight at one point. It got it down to one with Heaven Hamling on the bench with three fouls. Battle. Tough shot. Evans with great defense, and Brown comes up with it. Feeds it ahead to Banky. Banky finds Graham. Graham gets the basket at the horn. And the Bison will take the lead into the halftime locker room. Just a fun transition up the floor. Never say never. Game for the Bison came literally at the horn when Abby Graham laid it in. And here we go with the second half. I was curious to see, Dom, if Graham would start out with Hamling with the three falls, uh, start her out this half, but he went back with the lineup. And there's an offensive foul. Too bad, because that was good transition, good look. Uh, Evans found her underneath. She just got a little deep under the backboard. Michelle with another rebound for Minnesota. Barovic will go up and under. How about that? And we used to tell our players that six players, the backboard, use it, shoot the ball. Gophers take the lead back. Barovic with six. Evans with a long two is good. That's good ball control, and she's got nice high release. True freshman with six points for North Dakota State. Just underway, second half. Higher, guarded there by Brown. Leaves it over for Mishaw. Caton will drive. Good look to Higher for the lay-in. And the Gophers back in front. Schulte sees an avenue, too strong. Got her own rebound. She goes up with it and scores. On Monday night about Emily Banky's off-season, renewed confidence. Jory Collins said it's basically we have a new player here as Schulte will take the three. Good pass from Schulte inside. Uh, Hildebrandt, tough there. Draper tries to fight for the rebound. Hildebrandt gets it back. And Schulte will bring it out. Now she'll drive to the basket and score. Sintel Logan Campbell, a ton on the line in that one. Ton here on the line in this one. 4.45 remaining. Third quarter, Bison up by four. Gradwell gets it back. Lost the handle again. Now battle into the corner. Sonano will take it. Got it. Picks it out to Graham. Evans will try the three. No. And Oberg, the rebound underneath. It's a physical box out under there. And Banky couldn't get around. Nice move. Higher and the... And she said, move the ball. And during that timeout, she also told them again, move the ball. Gophers have made four of their last five shots. Higher can't convert the three-point play. But a quick spurt here by the Gophers has them in front. Brown is open to the corner for three. Got it! Just joining us, Minnesota's standout freshman, Mara Braun, not playing tonight. Has a boot on her left foot. Told it's precautionary as Barovic glides and scores. She'd take this time off and... You know, her 28 points a game and, and five rebounds. She takes about 22 shots in, in her 34 minutes. Tell so Minnesota's missing that here tonight. Big points, a big play they're missing. Battle hits both free throws to give the Gophers the lead here at 42-40. Hildebrandt on the back door. Schulte glides and scores.
115 remaining in the third. Tie game at 42. The feed. Brown scores. Great pass. Now to the final 50 seconds of the third. Hamling leaves this. Brown on the baseline. Good. Taylor Brown. They'll set it up. Hamling. She's open from downtown. No. Graham the rebound. Nice feed to Bakey underneath. Very consistent here. Baravich the fake. The drive. Too strong. Loose ball. Bradwell comes out of it. Baravich is open for three. Got it. Finally. That was a much needed basket there for Minnesota. Cuts it to a four point game. Three minutes gone in the fourth. Banky leaves it for Graham. Again, the same play works. Drive and taking the ball strong and then timing that pass to Banky. Banky with 13. Buys it back in front by six. Gradwell, pull up jumper, tough shot there is good. Just a good athletic move and a rise up on that jumper with a nice touch. Hamling, finally! Knocks down the three, her first points of the game come with six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And Minnesota answers with an a To make this a three point play. In and out. Banky already here with a career high in points with her 13. Brown with a three. Yes! Taylor Brown has 16 tonight. Battle answers with a floater. And now the buckets are starting to fall here. Five and a half to go. 58-52. Schulte will leave it for Graham. Now to Hildebrandt. Graham, step through, tough shot! A big night for Abby, just to gain the kind of confidence she needs to contribute to this team. Boy, look at battle. Quick answers by the Gophers. Keeps it here to a two-possession game. It's 60-54. to 54. Evans trying to work off a Hildebrandt screen. Leaves it back for Graham. Graham to the basket and the foul! Each team couldn't buy a basket to start. The teams have combined to make their last 11 shots as Graham misses the free throw. The Bison have made their last six. Minnesota's made its last five. Sonano carried Minnesota early and she's got a career high. 17th turnover of the night for the Bison. Hamling and Brown set to come back in to the next stoppage. Four minutes to go. Gradwell leaves it over for Sonano. Mishaw playing with four fouls. Nice move up and under. Hamling will drive the kick. Brown in the corner. Three. No. Another tip there, though, by Banky. Hamling with a deep three. Yes! By Evans. Caton got it back. And it's taken away. Schulte comes up with it for NDSU. Good quick hands by Evans. As soon as that ball was on the floor, she was able to reach in there and knock it away. 13th turnover of the game for the Gophers. Banky. With Hamling. Mishaw and Banky each playing with four fouls. Hamling gets her defender to fall and drains it. You know, when you have some of your your starters, like Kevin tonight with fall, fall trouble, to have some other players step up and have a good night, that's really helped Bison get this win. 40 seconds to go. Battle. Off balance. Gets the roll. Schulte. Guarded there by Barovic, who gets the steal. Katie Barovich leaves it for Amaya Battle, lays it in, and just like that. How long you wait here, Amy, before having a foul? You know Minnesota, or any issue's going to try and take as much time off the clock. Yeah, I think they've got to get that foul quickly. Shot we clock is off. Barovich goes for the steal on Graham. Picked it up. They'll get the hell ball. And possession arrow says it goes the way of the Bison here. 21.2 remaining. Each team with one timeout 
left. Schulte will inbound it here. Trying to get it, finds Evans with it. Immediately swarmed there. They were hoping for a hell ball. And it'll be true freshman L. Evans to go to the line. She's got a nice looking free throw. Delivers the ball nice and high. Nice arch. Tori Collins told me about Evans. Arrived on campus just with her luggage. Ready, no parents or anything. Said how mature she was. And a big time free throw there. You know, so many of these players have played so much more basketball than their high school season, traveling all over the country with their AAU teams, and they're they're um, they're experienced travelers and they're mature kids. One of two, Baravic along three, try to bank it in, no loose ball rebound. Evans has it, down to ten. Minnesota's got a foul. Sonano does with six point eight remaining, and listen to the Bison crowd with the North Dakota State up by four. And I think you saw it tonight, two well-matched teams, both size-wise, uh, their execution. So hats off to both of them for just playing a good competitive game. Evans hits the first. Eight points on the night. The lead is five. Hits them both. Timeout, Lindsey Whalen in Minnesota, their last timeout. North Dakota State, 6.8 seconds away. Oh, how excited he was for her, and boy, what a night she's had. Down to the final three. Higher, traveled with it. Just good pressure defense by Hamling. It'll be Bison Ball here with 3.4 remaining. Evans to inbound. Gets it to Schulte. Fouled there by Battle. Stop it with exactly two seconds remaining. For a program that has been searching for that big win, that signature win, has come up short against the likes of South Dakota State and South Dakota. This is going to be an awfully big one for Jory Collins here tonight. You know, a really important game for just, I think, the mentality of this team to know that they are a better basketball team. Uh, and they can compete, and they competed well here with the Gophers, and that says a lot about their potential in the Summit League. Schulte missed them both. Battle with the rebound. The horn sounds, and North Dakota State has knocked off the University of Minnesota. The biggest win for this program.